King Solomon built a temple for God for over seven years. And during that time, there was a lot of expectation. Everyone was waiting for King Solomon. Everyone was waiting to see what kind of temple he is going to build for God. They were expecting what kind of window, what kind of door, what kind of seat, what kind of color. How big will be the temple? And in that time, the high priest, the community were very strict with what they were expecting from King Solomon. But not just the community. Even his father had a great expectation to see what he was going to build because his father had a vision, prepared foundation, all the material, all the money, everything, and the person to his son to build the temple. And one day David was walking nearby the David saw Solomon. David, David started noticing that Solomon was under pressure. There was a lot of pressure, and the Solomon was a little bit sad. David called Solomon and said, Come with Solomon. You were king, but now you are my son. And it is great when you when you put your title, when you put your position and talk to you as a father and, a, and a talk to each other as a father and a son, as a family. I can see King David said, Son will come here, my son. The construction is taking long. And I know you are using faith. But the conversation between King Solomon and the, and, the king, and, the, and the King David went like this. David said to Solomon, Be strong and afraid. And do the work. Don't be afraid or discouraged. Because Lord God, my God, is with you. That was one of the best and the greatest conversation Father and the Son had in the Bible. It was a true king. King David talking to his son, King Solomon. And, uh, and uh, I know right now that the Lord the King in heaven is talking to you, telling you. I feel it in my heart now, he's telling you wherever you are. God wants to remind you, God wants you to know that you are able to achieve, you are capable to achieve great things in life. It doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what happened. Don't let the fear or setback hold you.